Spring has finally arrived, and snow has been replaced by rain. A sad cover of ice on the forest floor withers away, vanquished by the warming sun. Young shoots are already piercing the ground. Even though there are no leaves on the trees, Song Sparrow is already busy looking for food and preparing for the breeding season. What does a Song Sparrow sound like? Young Song Sparrows learn their song by moving around different territories of older individuals. Then, the young Song Sparrow sets up its own territory adjacent to its musical tutors. Song Sparrows are some of the most conspicuous migrants because their song fills every spring forest. Now we look skyward and see endless streams of Canada geese. The migration of these geese is truly massive. On the northern shore of the St. Lawrence River, Canada geese rest on the rapidly shrinking ice shelves. The geese take advantage of the immense amount of recently thawed grass. In fact, both native and cultivated grass make up the majority of their diet. They also enjoy waste corn kernels. You might think that their generalist diet also makes them suited to the recently thawed surrounding farm fields. Oh yes, Canada geese love farm fields. The combination of ephemeral ponds and plenty of grass is a magnet for the hungry geese. In the city, many Canada geese are already looking for suitable nest sites. In a few months, we will even see the little yellow juveniles running around, so stay tuned for a future installment of Wild Earth for some adorable Canada goose gosling moments. Until that time, you would have no trouble finding the geese gorging on delightful soggy grass. How do you like the tasty grass, big goose? If you walk through any forest or park with some trees, you're bound to hear another call that sounds like an alarm. What could be making that sound? We see several dark shapes in this tree. What's that bird? One of them has come down to the reeds. It's the male red-winged blackbird. This one is being quite bold, showing off with its voice and vigor that it can defend a territory. Year after year, red-winged blackbirds gain more experience and learn more songs doing so. The males with larger song repertoires are more likely to hold higher quality territories. At urban sites such as this park, Birds tend to sing more during the midday compared to rural areas, possibly to overcome the increased traffic noises during the rush hours. Although the majority of migrants have yet to arrive, I hope you enjoyed birding with me today and seeing some of these fascinating first arrivals. <laughs>